Hey guys, Shaver 1000 here. Um, got another vlog for you today. I'll do a little more vlogging. Uh, this is not a bug on me. I wanted to come outside and get some air. I haven't been out a lot. Um, and it's real windy. It's a nice day, but it's windy. As you can see, I'm bundled up. I've got my hoodie on. Got a shirt on underneath. So, what I was going to do today was I was going to make a video of cooking a chicken in the ground. But it rained three-fourths of the night last night, clear up into this morning, so the ground's still pretty wet. So that's not going to work right if I do that. So, um, anyway, I got my windsock on my mic because it is windy. So, But I um, went to the doctor yesterday. They put me off for another week. But I, went, I went to work Tuesday. Wasn't a good idea, man. It it was hard, real hard. But um, in the first stages of pneumonia again, they think I've got COPD. So I got to go to a pulmonary doctor. So they're going to call me with the information on that. Uh, some kind of lung disease or something. I don't know COPD. I'm not sure what stage. Uh, what it is, I'm feeling okay <coughs> I still got a slight cough but I'm getting real lightheaded my oxygen level just ain't staying up where it should be uh, they checked it yesterday it was 96 so that's acceptable but it should be around 100 so it wasn't real low uh, my blood pressure was okay it's, it was acceptable so when I hear more about that I'll let you guys know so in the meantime for the next five days six days whatever I'm going to try to make some videos for you guys. And so anyway, that's what's going on with me. Also, I would like to be able to, okay, I, you know, I got this, I got a Honda 750 uh, Magna. It's a 1984. I think it's a 1984. So I got to get it. I got to figure out a way to get it here. And I'm going to do some video on that kind of like a basket case right now it's all tore down because my nephew I got it off my nephew he gave it to me and um, I've got uh, he said I had a carburetor issue and he took the carburetors off so I I don't know I need to get that here it's a, it's a little rough but you know it's something to make some videos on and maybe trade for another toy or something so so anyway I'm still I'm gonna make a video tonight so it might be up a little later because it's going to be for dinner tonight for Monkey and I. We're going to make uh, mashed potatoes, gravy. It's all homemade except the noodles. We're going to have noodles. Uh, you know, those are store bought. But so we're going to have noodles, mashed potatoes, gravy, and a roasted chicken. Since I can't do it in the ground, I'm going to do it in the oven. Now I was watching. I was trying to get some uh, different recipes, something I hadn't tried before and I found one on YouTube a guy actually cut the backbone out of the chicken and then spread it out onto you know your pan and then he, he like you know broke broke the breastbone so it would lay flat and uh, he cooked it and or baked it and um, it looked pretty good it looked like it was real juicy he said it was real juicy I've never tried that before but he said it cooks more um, more evenly you know of course it's flatter but i'm not into presentation right now so i mean i'm gonna try he said it cooks more evenly which makes sense the way he explained it was that um you know the way it comes around like this you know the heat you know it takes more heat around like the thigh bone and stuff to get that done clear through and when that's done clear through well then you got your your breast up on top that <laughs> okay Sorry, I don't know why I thought that was funny. Up on top, and it dries. It dries out because you know it doesn't take. You know, there's less bone in it. You know what I mean? It's thicker, but there's less bone. When you got the bone, you know it's more juicy and stuff. But when you got the bone in there, you, you know it takes more to heat. You know to cook around that bone because there's something in there. You know it's the bone. So if I'm explaining this, if you guys can follow me on that, 
and up on the breast you know you got all that breast meat there that's just you know wanting to dry out because by the time you know because it'll get up to temperature before down by the uh, thigh bones and stuff so I'm going to try that and I'm going to I'm going to make a video on it and we'll see how it comes out because I've never did it that way I've cooked chicken a hundred different ways but I've never tried that way um like they they use uh they use herbs and and stuff like that uh which I don't have any like rosemary or thyme or anything like that. So I'm just going to season it with some salt, pepper, some seasoned salt, some lemon pepper and stuff like that. Now I've got the chicken in, I put it in this morning in some water. The whole chicken in a pan. And I used about three tablespoons, maybe a little less of salt, to about a gallon of water, maybe a little more than a gallon. You guys can do that however you want. And I, I just cut a lemon in half kind of squirted a little bit in the water and just stuck it in there because I didn't want the overpowering of the lemon but the citrus in it always makes meat it breaks it up a little more makes it more uh, more tender you know and juicy and then what I'll do so it's brining that's called brining by the way so it's brining right now that's all I did um, I usually brine them five to six hours so it's got about another hour or so and then I'll put some, uh, I'll take those, that lemon I cut in half and I'll squeeze the rest of the, the lemon juice out of it, okay? Just squeeze it until there's no more juice coming out. But then I'll stick, I'll stick the uh, lemon up into the cavity, okay? I'll explain all this later if you watch that video. And then up around the skin, up around the breast area, <laughs> go up inside the breast and uh, I'm going to put a couple sticks of butter in there so it melts inside there and stays inside now remember guys when you cook when you're cooking like a ham turkey or uh, chicken especially when you take it out, out of the oven don't don't just cut it right away because then all them juices just go away and then five minutes later ten minutes later it's all dry if you're having that problem think about that are you cutting it too soon I usually let mine rest 15 minutes they say 10 to 20, so right in there, uh, maybe 20 minutes on a turkey, but usually 10 to 15 on a, uh, I hope this wind's not bothering me, on a small chicken. It's uh, maybe a four pounder or something, just enough for me and her. And then he just, he, he you know, he cut the legs off. You'll see when I do it, he cut the, the legs off and the thighs, and then he just, right down the breastbone, he split that in half. So it looked pretty good. Uh, so we're going to try that tonight, something a little different. Like I said, I wanted to get it in the ground, but I I, th I think the ground's too wet. I walked out back there and kind of checked it and it seemed to be. So what that's going to do is take my heat away. So I'm not going to, if I try it like that, I'm not going to be able to get a good, I'm not going to be able to gauge it because like a, like a four, like a four to five pound bird, not 45, four to five pound bird. Uh, cooking it in the ground two to three hours depending on you know what what kind of coals you're using like charcoal usually about two hours if you're using wood you know it might not take that long it might take more if your ground's damp if it's cold out that all varies so you, you got to kind of babysit it well you really can't because it's buried in the ground under dirt but you can feel the ground and you can tell when it's about ready once you do a couple of them it's not that hard so make sure your internal temperature is uh, where it should be. So anyway, I want to try to get my nephew or somebody to help me get that bike here because I can't get it by myself. There's just no way. Um, but it's all there except for uh, the clutch master cylinder, I call it, you know, up here. Um, it's the same thing as the brake master cylinder, only it's backwards. And I can get both of them for, how much was it, 28 bucks or something. So I'll probably go that route if, once I get it running, if it runs good. It's shaft drive, so if it runs good, you know, maybe I'll fix it up. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if not, like I said, it'll give me some trading stock. And I was talking the other day on my, on my vlog about the, uh, I had you guys in there on the, um, I showed you, I was talking about the trike. 
I said it was free. He didn't give that to me. I bought that off of him. I paid him for it, but it was like 50 bucks or something, so. But the, but the bike, the motorcycle is free, so. We'll see what, uh, the seat needs recovered. He recovered it, but he did it in like a tan. He said, I should have went black. Yeah, I don't know why you would uh, cover a black bike in tan, but that's what he did, bless his heart, so I don't know. Um, there's a cat I've never seen before. Now, uh, let's see. What else can I touch on? Upcoming videos this week. I want to do one a day starting today. I got that little racetrack that we bought for the grandchildren. Uh, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to do a review on that for you guys. Um,. Let me see. I've got the the screen for the back door that, what's it called? That mesh, magic mesh, I think it's called. I got that. We're going to put that on. Um, maybe tomorrow. I've got, I still want to do one on the truck of for the taillights for the trailer. It's called a converter box. I've got to put one of them on because every... It, ours is bad everything works except for one of the turn signals I think it's the right turn does not work so like if you put the flashers on they wig wag it's kind of cool but it's not supposed to be like that so I do have one and uh, we'll install that together if it gets warm out because I don't want to lay on the ground I did the uh, if you guys watch the uh, the uh, fuel pump video for the truck um, that was pure hell, man, laying out here on the ground. It was like 32 degrees or something. Uh, that sucked. I was supposed to get to work that morning. Well, they wasn't, like, really expecting me, but I was going to try to go in and work. Um, but that sucked, so I don't want to do that. That's why I got this heavy. It, it's windy. If it wasn't for the wind, I think I'd be all right. But that's why I'm layered up because I want to be outside a little bit and talk to you guys sometimes, you know, instead of being cooped up all the time. I've been cooped up for two weeks now. And this is my third week. So I just want to get out. But I don't want to jeopardize this pneumonia that may be coming on. So when they did the check, chest x-rays. So when I go to the pulmonary doctor, I mean, they'll do blood work and they'll, they'll do all that stuff. Monkey's been, been, been there with me every time. And she's got to work, but she can juggle her patience. But still, for her to do that, you know, means a lot to me. So thank you, Monkey. I appreciate that, you know. I told her, well, just drop me off. Go do a patient or two and come back, and I'll be there. She said, no, no, I want to be there with you. So thanks, Monk. I appreciate that. Let's see, what else? What else is going on? We still we didn't get the yard work done because it rained. And... So it's been rainy here in Florida, and I mean, don't get me wrong, we need rain here, but it's been like a cold rain, especially with this wind. Of course, we are, you know, we're we're still in uh, we're still in in winter, so it does it does get cold down here. Uh, sometimes at night, it's not supposed to get that cold at night. Like right now, it's like 64. So it's not that bad. The sun is out a little bit, but it's got a lot of cloud cover. So that's I think that's why the ground didn't dry up like I wanted it to. I was hoping it would, but it didn't. So that is what it is. We're still going to make a video for you. So I'll have this one up for you. And I'll have the chicken video up for you. I'll have these two up tonight. And then, like I said, tomorrow, you know, we'll do the Magic Mesh. We'll do the... Um, uh, hopefully I can get to the get to the converter box on the truck if not I've got a couple other videos may do some more vlogging may do a couple more vlogs one a day or something just short vlog like this just shooting the crap with you guys you know hanging out you know letting you know that just because we're youtubers you know we're, we're real people too we got our problems we've got our issues but you know the good youtubers will make time for you guys and not just themselves although it, a lot of this is for me a lot of this stuff i have to get done you know and i would do it anyway but i'm like if i'm going to do it like like the, the the fuel pump i thought if i'm going to be out here risking my health to do this 
I mean, why not just set up a camera, you know? You know, that that don't make it any any colder, you know? So, might as well shoot it, you know? Might as well film it for you. So, that's what I did. So, I don't know if this is like a vlog or... Well, it is a vlog, but I don't know if you just want to call it like a hangout or shoot the shit session or something. Um, so... Yes, yeah, so I got the wireless mic on, so I'm using one of the old cameras, not the old one, it's the first one we bought when we got together, the one that kind of got screwed up in the rainstorm on the boat a year or two ago, uh, when Monkey took me for a dinner and a cruise on a three hour boat cruise, dinner, dancing, so it, it was nice, dining and dancing, they call it, but, and I took her back there again for, for her birthday, so. But this is the camera, if you guys remember that video, it was storming like crazy. We'd only had the camera a few days and it got wet. But now I've got a, I've got a good camera bag, holds all my equipment. I can fit like five cameras in it. I've got the, uh, the little raincoats that go over them, so we won't have that problem again. But it's, this one seems to be working okay. Uh, it does have its issues. Sometimes it won't save a file. Sometimes when you re use the remote, um, it, it it'll like it, it doesn't save the video. I tried different cards. I think it had something to do with it being wet. And the new 4K camera that we got, I think I did an unboxing and review on it. It is also remote control, but these remotes are the same. Because I, I stuck them in a bag when, when we went to Disney World and I stuck them all in a bag and I, I didn't label them. So I thought oh, I'd just check it. And both of them work on both cameras. So you guys, you know, if you're using two cameras that take this kind of a remote right here. I know you can't see it. I'm zoomed in a little bit. Uh, you know, these are these just these cheap cameras. Uh, they're not real cheap, but they're cheaply made um, and and you're trying to get different angles and you're using this they're both going to want to do zooming and unzooming and all that stuff so. I wanted to touch bases with you guys on a couple things of uh, some products we have bought because I always tell you you know in an upcoming video I'll let you know how they're doing and I, and these are just uh, just a couple here and on another vlog I'll, I may do um, with some more but this one uh, this stuff I have here it's not this this I bought a while back uh, my impact the Bauer my impact driver I bought that I did a video on it and uh, I've got to say Awesome. I forget what I gave for it. 70 bucks or something. Right in there. Uh, you, I'd have to go back and look at the video. Or you guys can watch the video of this. I told you I'd let you know. I did an unboxing on it. I told you I'd let you know how, how it would be after I used it a while. I've um, I've charged this thing one time. It's got a gauge on the back here. You push this little button right there. I've only charged it one time. And that's when I first got it. I charged it overnight and I've used it countless times and as you can see it's still it's still well I'm sure it's not full full but you guys see me using it the other day on the uh, on the fuel pump video thumbs up for this I mean I've I've dropped it but you know it's getting dirty but I, I haven't had a problem with it so this two thumbs up and I wanted to touch with you guys on this um, this wet fire that I did on the, uh, the other night with the um, dryer lint. Now I found something out. The dryer lint may not have ignited like it's supposed to because the last thing that was washed and that because she cleans the dryer lint every time she does a wash. She washed the the sheets and blankets off the bed and pillowcases and we all know that stuff is fire retardant so I'm getting that was the only lint that that was from so the our, our guess is that 
that uh, it, it was that's why the lint did not fire up like it should have but this uh, you know it's better than nothing I still like my dryer lint which I did try a little while ago I did try a, a, a piece of dryer lint from just regular clothes it ignited immediately like you guys have seen in my other videos so that's the only thing I'm guessing that that dryer lint was from the fire retardant uh, sheets and stuff like that so that but the wet fire eh, it's okay um, you know like I said dryer lint uh, coconut husks you know but this stuff it's alright I, I just wasn't real impressed with it so but is it worth the money? I don't know. Um, compared to dryer lint, or if you guys eat coconuts, let me move this up a little bit. Or if you guys eat coconuts, save the. Uh, oh, what's that thing? Yeah, save the husks. Put it in a baggie. You know, and it should be all right. So that's that. That it is what it is. Um, set this over here. A lot of dispute on the micro mechanic. Okay, kind of got in a debate on the video on this about a guy. Don't waste your money on it, and I'll, you're wasting your money on it. And here is why. Well, uh, no, you don't. No, you're not. He said he he made a claim, and you guys can. I left all all the uh, the uh, comments on it. He made a claim that. Your vehicle has to be running for this to work. No, it does not. Now, I pretty much knew what was wrong with the truck the other day, Monday. Pretty much knew what was wrong with it. But just in case, I got this out and scanned the codes. There was two codes. One was uh, for low low fuel pressure. It wasn't getting enough fuel on right bank, which was only one bank in that truck because it's just a four cylinder. You know, so. Yeah, it was, it was coming up a code like that. So it was telling me there was low fuel pressure or no fuel pressure, which I pretty much knew. It. The second code was a multiple misfire. Of course, because I was squirting that uh, brake cleaner in there just to see if it would start up, and it did. And then, of course, when it dies, it starts missing and cutting out. Put the new fuel pump in. It's fine. Okay, so... Uh, to me, this is why worth 20 bucks. I don't care who you are. Uh, the tr your vehicle does not have to be running for this to work. It even it even tells you in the instructions. It, it's a lifesaver. It's a lifesaver. Like I said, I you know all my experience. You know, I started working on cars when I was 10 years old. My dad's junkyard, so I know pretty much about what can go wrong with them and what the cases are. But I just to satisfy my own curiosity, give the guy the benefit of the doubt. Is it worth it? Yes. In my book, two thumbs up, 20 bucks. Hell yeah. Get it. So yes, this, this I have used it a couple times. So yes, this is in my toolbox and I use it. Um, the Black Web. The Dash Cam. We have been using this. It's in the truck right now. We use it every day. It does what it's supposed to do. Except a couple downfalls one it's supposed to be motion activated it has that option you turn the motion activation on as soon as you get out of the uh, out of the menu motion detection turns off so I have to call and find out why it is doing that I don't understand it um, it shouldn't do it because if if it didn't have that option even if it's on your camera it won't be lit up you won't be able to do nothing with it. You can turn it on, but as soon as you get out of the back off, back out of the menu, motion detect is not. It just shuts. It shuts back off. It goes to off. So I need to call them and find out what's going on with that. That's what I don't like. If it's got that option, it should work. I don't care if you gave twenty cents, twenty dollars, or two hundred dollars. But as far as clarity, uh, you know the mics aren't that great in these things, but it's mainly for you know video anyway and I like that you can turn it clear around and you can face it back at you you know so that way you can you can talk to the camera and not take your eyes off the road but this yes well we're 20 bucks two thumbs up now okay monkeys here now this 
the egg thing or you know this uh, copper thing two thumbs up for me I have used this several times I've made her breakfast uh, I've made my breakfast I've made snacks with this thing awesome well worth what we gave for it now we got it on sale or on clearance so if you can still find one and this is your thing get it awesome awesome little deal here so there's that so those are are just a couple updates on some of the product reviews that I have done that, that we have done together and so I'm going to go greet monkey and I want to say thanks for watching guys thanks for watching my videos and you know hit, hit the like button share my videos and uh, please if you haven't subscribed smash that motherfucking subscribe button and I'll see you guys soon thanks again Shea Bear the myth the man the legend I'm gone for now guys bye bye now